Hi everyone, I'm Alana and I work for Upstate Films. Uh, I just wanted to welcome you all, thank you so much for coming this evening and joining us for this special event. We're very honored and thrilled to have a convergence of, of um, artists here tonight. Uh, this event was put together by uh, Emerge Gallery, Shout Out, and Jane Street Gallery, so thank you to all of them. And, uh, it's part of the apparatus series of experimental and mixed media content that we're, we're doing here at Upstate, which is sponsored by Jane Street Gallery. So thank you for their support. It's always a big thrill to do events like this. And um, I just wanted to tell you a couple things about the Orpheum before we get started. Um, kindly turn off your cell phones or silence them. Um, if you have to use the bathroom, the bathrooms are in the lobby, that door. And um, a lot of the programming that we do is made possible because of our members and people who are able to support Upstate Films. If you are a member, thank you for your support. And if you're interested in becoming a member, you can go to our website um, at upstatefilms.org. It will tell you all about how to be a member. And um, we have a lot of exciting events coming up this Saturday. Um, this with Adrian Truscott is another live from Upstate event that's happening this Saturday, 8 p.m. Should be really special. Um, I think I think I haven't forgotten anything essential. Thank you to Linda for making this possible. And I'm gonna hand this over to, to Robert and Suzanne. Hello everybody. At first, I want to thank so much the musicians who were playing for us at, at the top of the hour here as the audience was coming in. Julia Haynes on accordion. She's a composer, a multi-instrumentalist, music therapist. Uh, she has, her solo recordings include Odyssey, an exploration of Afro-Celtic, Celtic, harp, Fusion. She's recorded with Pauline Oliveras, The Roots, Laurie Sims, among many others. Uh, and as a musician and music therapist, she's <laughs> dedicated to improvisation and community programs, which have included things like the weekly music meditations for peace and healing for four years. And with her, was free at last, and free is also a multi-instrumentalist performer, producer, Foley artist, and community activist. She's currently working with four local bands. She has a long history of performing and collaborating with artists that are building bonds with underserved communities. They played for our opening of Art Equals Healing and led the procession from uh, Lamb Center to Emerge Gallery and uh, have come for some other events and it's wonderful to have them with us again. So thank you, Julia and Fred. Hi everyone, it's great to see everybody here. Thank you. Um, I, my name is Robert Langdon and I'm, uh, I'm a Merge Gallery. Uh, really, really pleased to be celebrating the um, life and career of uh, Linda Mary Montano this, this month uh, in Socrates. This, this part is uh, one part of a much larger celebration of her life. Uh, we're a little more than halfway through uh, right now, but we still have a few events left. Uh, on Sunday at the Lamb House, there is a, a laugh cry meditation with Linda, and then there is a, um, a monologue by Will Nixon and um, a performance by Mikhail Horowitz 
Celeste Graves and um, Gilles Mackney, Malkin, Mackin, um, who uh, is going to be doing um, their version of Xenadu. Uh, so that's at 3 o'clock. Come on by for that. And then we have a closing reception on the 19th uh, at the Land, Land Center as well. Uh, lots of surprises there. Uh, as also as part of the celebration, there's three exhibits. Uh, one of them, um, we're really grateful to to have um, uh, Jen Hicks, uh, Eleven Jane, and uh, Newberry Art Center, uh, the artist marketplace, uh, who is exhibiting work by um, uh, Stephen Whistler and um, Sabine Reckwell um, in the back there. So I encourage you definitely to go have a have a look at that. Um, at Emerge Gallery is a uh, revision of the 14 Stations of the Cross um, that was led by uh, Linda. We led 14 different artists to um, reinterpret the Stations of the Cross, which still remains um, a big part of uh, Linda's daily decisions in, in, in life. Um, for those who are familiar with them, you might be a little surprised by what you see. Um, it's it's uh, been updated to include things like bullying, um, feminism, body dysmorphia, um, and many of the artists. This is the first time that they're they they've been exposed to the 14 stations, so um, it's a whole new look. It's something that. Um, might be very familiar to some people. Um, over at the Lamb Center, we did a uh, call for art for um, artist interpretations of art equals healing and different stories of how art healed them, since art is is a very um, uh, prominent way for 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 Linda to heal in, in throughout her career. Uh, some really fantastic work. There's some visual art. There's some performance art. Uh, some video art, spoken word. Uh, so I encourage you to go have a look at all all three um, exhibits. They're also online, um, and the galleries are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, one to five. Uh, so today we are going to be having a look at um, two of Linda's latest films. Um, she's going to. They're, they're both very interactive uh, films, and then afterwards we're going to have a uh, little uh, Q and A and a couple special guests. Um, so, uh, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to turn it over to Linda, who's going to uh, introduce the first film that we're seeing called What Could Go Wrong. Um, it's a uh, audience interaction piece, so we you know, really encourage you to um, do what you feel. This is for Suzanne. These are curators, just fabulous curators. Suzanne Hunter, who is the And it's all, and you'll get a chicken. <laughs> Months and years and new friends. New friends. And Robert. And we have we have more. We have these chickens also at Lamb Center <laughs> for sale for a modest price. <laughs> and the chicken. <laughs> we have to leave here by six thirty. I'm going to make this fast. Um, this is a grief arama. Uh, Toby, um, Jim Barbaro, and I uh, collaborated on this, these films. That's how we do things. We collaborate. And, uh, but it's, when did we make this? Two years ago? I think two years ago. And it's, what do you say? Not easy. Um, I have something written here about collaborating. I do, we want, I want you to feel comfortable. So one of the things that makes me feel comfortable is making sound. So um, you have lots of options. You can do, mm, so would you do, mm, you do, mm, mm. so who's going to be the conductor for um? And you just, when you want us to do, you just stand up and then is your conductor. We have. Uh, 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 this is about now. Uh, who wants to do it? Uh, who, who is it? Uh, uh, but you could be doing other things. You don't have to do. What 
they charge <laughs> this is oh no <laughs> There. Oh no. Who's in no no? Oh, no. You're all good. Go ahead. Oh, no. You're all good. 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 Oh, no. you he wants to. Some of you may not want to make a sound. So I'm, you don't have to hold this up, but who, who thinks they're not going to make a sound? There are seven songs that my mother sang. Uh, she was in a band, my dad's band. So who thinks they're going to sing along to... 40 standards, 30 standards. Who's a 30 standard? You. So you can sing along. And we have one more. Oops. 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 Oh, Rich. She, she wants to do oops. So we're all ready. Let's go. And, um, Make it work for you. Use your phone, pay your bills. Uh, if you leave, um, you get a $5 tour with me of Sorgates. <laughs> Only if you leave. Um, what else do you need to know? Sound is medicine. I'm just putting it simple. Making sound is medicine. So do your medicine. We have a lot to get out. Okay. <coughs> Toby Carey, thank you so much. Jim Barbara. needs to be lower or higher. Uh, we need we need someone to uh, make that decision. So a low high person. We, and we have uh, we have a hug by uh, Mary over here. Free hugs. If you're triggered.
breathing deeply. When you open it to speak. Oh, wow. Oops. Sound is medicine.
was, uh, what, five months ago it was made, I mean finished, before now. Puppy Mills. Uh oh. Thank you, Toby and Meg and your family for helping us purge our heart and clean our heart. Thank you. <coughs> and now, ah, uh, <laughs> that was a lot of stuff. Uh, and now, ah. Uh, <laughs> Brilliant Holy Spirit ending. Oh, oh. God help us. Oh, Atman, whoever it is, you, your higher power. Oh, nature. Oh, oh Mom, Dad, oh, Netflix, help me. Yeah. Inhale. And now, ah, I can't take another, I can't take another image. I can't, I can't look at TV. Inhale. And now, ah, I need help. Inhale. And now, ah, whoever you, whoever your, whoever your hope is, whatever your love is, whoever your love is, inhale. Love. Ah. Uh, the next, um, Toby, stand up. Where are you?
next is uh, a single ball and, and, and hope you'll uh, so I'm gonna it's not uh, anxiety you are my friend you are my friend you are my friend anxiety you are my friend yes you are but uh, you can go la 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 if you don't want to do the words again uh, one of many many videos we've done and thanks to Toby and me. Jim, this is a Jim Toby. If you want to see. Uh, and it's another take on anxiety. It's a take on uh, Richard Schwartz, the No Bad Parts. It's a take on anxiety. Uh, Julian of Norwich, you all as well. Up the volume a little. Anxiety. Up a lot. You, you are, are my friend. friend. Yes, you are. And up a little more. Like, you want up a more? Up more. You bring me in Sleepless nights and days. Ah. 
a seven step recipe for why I'm a performance artist. It's a recipe. Step one, toss. January 18, 1942, born Benedictine Hospital into a Catholic family. Many of my actions and sculptures are influenced by Catholicism, and I intend to adjust via performance anything which is not spiritually valuable to me now. Question, it's a workshop. How does your family religion influence your life and art? Just, how does your family influence you? What you, what you do, your business? Your, your thought, thoughts, thinking. Step two, mix. Paternal grandfather born on the boat coming from Cork, Ireland. Our paternal grandparents immigrated from Italy, never speaking English. <coughs> the performance lesson. Their difference was intriguing to me and it inspired me to later work with 10 different internal personas as art. Seven in the video, learning to talk, and now Bob Dylan, Mother Teresa, Paul McMahon. Question, what did your grandparents mean to you? This is a workshop, this is for you. Thank them. Step three, decorate. My maternal grandmother is an outsider artist, was. I stood silent next to her daily as she created unusual art magic and she would take her teeth out to sing for me. <laughs> if I had the wings of an angel over these prison walls I would fly. I would fly to the arms of my darling and there I My grandmother. That's why I'm a performance artist. But then we gotta wrap it up soon. Step four. Uh, mom and dad. I'll just do this. Mom and dad. Dad played trumpet. Uh, step five. Spiritual training. Thirteen years Catholic school. Two years in a convent. Two years Zen center. Silent. As a child, I wanted to be a Catholic priest. And. Uh, Six. Can I just do these? Sure, yeah. I am not an artist because I'm an artist, but my brain is wired that way. My brain is medically, medically wired to love religion because my ven ventral medial frontal cortex gets positively activated by religion. It's all medical science. What, how is your brain wired? And then steps five, season with time, endure for a length of time as art, and do something, do anything long enough for the worry brain, the guilty brain, the shame brain, the trauma brain, the feared brain to exhaust. Step six, marinate. Dad wanted to be a dentist but had no financial support. Montana's shoe store became a place where I witnessed Dad, the healer, and his brother, Louis, the healer, every day when he visited, every day. Saw so Dad on his knees, checking shoes to see if they fit. The store became my school, going to the church. The place that taught devotion to helping and healing. Healing the, the, I have a kind of list. The lame, the pronated, the drop-footed, the metatarsal, the just, Johnny had the bunion, you, you know him. <laughs> my art mimics and imitates the people in my life. What about the people in your life? What do you do like them? In the immediate family, there are four nurses, two dentists, a surgeon, a hospital dietitian, a dietitian to be in grad school, a pediatrician, and internal medicine physician. I do medicine differently. I could not do any of that. I just, I do art. Question, what did you see in your early life that influenced your current vocation? Who gave you the chutzpah, the permission to do you? Step seven, garnish. Mom, brave, inspiring, dressing up at Halloween. And then bon appetit for this recipe. The recipe is complete. I have grat gratitude for all my past performance art influences. Um, Dr. Mishra, Maitis, uh, parents, grandparents, family. My, my siblings who keep me, keep me, take care of me. And I practice the healing for now 
which for me is to perform and make videos about the art of aging. To do that, I practice asking for help as art. And we just finished a, a week blindfolding with Jen Sacken, who's here, was my collaborator. And I had to ask for help. And I do that as art. These are life endurances, thank you. Um, what artists do, and artists are, are they have a different um, brainstem. I mean, it's, it's, it's endured to, to work on the brain and work on the heart. Um, and we have in the house tonight the king of endurance. <laughs> Taisha Che! <Yeah. laughs> An eight foot rope. It's <laughs> the rope. My, my version. <laughs> no, no. This I made for you is a gift, Shay. And thanks for Thank for you. letting for including me in your concept. And for you know everything about me. <laughs> <laughs> you know everything about me. And you 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 were very kind, generous, inspiring, and continue to be so. There will be a show at Dia Beacon of all well, five, five of your performances coming soon. Uh, do you want to try this on? Huh? Do you want to try this on? I'm trying to what? No, it's eight foot. <laughs> Get it closer. <laughs> I, I measured it, Shane. <laughs> I, I did measure. I think that's too short. Does anybody have a tape measure? Yeah. <laughs> I was just looking in the middle. You're okay. You can't wait. Huh? No, the kids are out. Shay, I measured this. This was eight feet. It's <laughs> magic. Get closer. Does anybody have? We have three questions for Shay. Yes. Do you want to say? Well, I, I, I want to say thank you for Linda. You, you know, the reason why I had to breathe is because, because be in, uh, I, I didn't even know it because my brain became empty. <laughs> after, that, after the movie? After <laughs> okay, I just read it. Thank you, Alina, for all kind of work and for the invite me here. And Lina and, and I, we go back to, uh, back to the long way. Of 40, the, 40 year anniversary. Yes, yes. Uh, 40 years. And we have to go and no touch. And no touch. <laughs> Uh, weren't there a hundred accidents? We, we had a hundred accidents touching. Oh, oh yeah, just like a touch. Then we write down, we yeah, the record, yeah, maybe record. So it is uh, how different we are both. We have a struggle, whole piece, but we are, at least we don't cut the rope, you know, we finish the piece. So I, I, I uh, you know, uh, that did that the the uh, that you a lot uh, about uh, that tell me a, a lot about the Linda's uh, character and her strength and and uh, bravery and terror and commitment to the risky her first uh to the idea. And I will always to be grateful for her. Thank you, Linda. So what a treat it's been for me for 
25 years to have Linda come to the studio to work in the backyard with her. Sometimes it takes three years to do a project. Sometimes it's a little quicker. But whatever it is, it's, it's enlightening for me. What a treat for me to sit at her feet and learn all that she has to share. So I thank you, Linda. And we've done 60 things together. I have a, a little list here. I'll pass out. People can share and kind of look at some of the titles. Um, let me take the, the first one back because I made some notes on it. Thanks. You can share those around. Uh, forgive my uh, mixed up kind of uh, way I deal with things, but it's all here. And uh, one, one of the things that is a clear thread through Linda's work and kind of intersects with some of my own work apart from her is themes about family. And certainly you know some of those that she's done and things like dad art and my mother, artist, teacher, teacher, and friend, and friend. Yeah. yeah, wonderful. And I've done some things that are called family astrology, and uh, a, a short uh, self-portrait, and uh, Stanley's house, and these all intersect with my family, some of which are my old communal family, some of which are my blood family. So it all intersects together, uh, and it's, well, it's great to learn about Linda's family and to share something of what I've done over the years as well. So, thank you. Uh, Toby began one of the first communes in, in this area, and Peace Corps in Bogota. But, thank you. Yeah, and a master of the form. I, mean, I do hotmail. If you get the drift, you know about it. <laughs> so, yeah, one of the things about working with Linda, she said I send her home with lists to do. Well, she sends me lists of things by email, and then I make DVDs for her to look at because that's the stage of the technology that we share between us. So she comes back to the studio and we work on, on these kinds of things to kind of form them together. So the collaboration goes very deeply, and it's back and forth. And we like to say to each other, is it fun and easy? Or sometimes it's, oi, oi, oi. So I'll just say one more quick thing. We've just come through an election, all of us. Yeah. And, and oi, right. And in our town, which is the town of Hurley, we have a half oi because we won two of the seats that were up for grabs and we lost two so we'll say half oi and thank you thank you for being here uh, one of our favorite we, we did a lot of comedy uh, shows uh, videos but one of our favorite we're, uh, Meg is the nurse is nurse nurse do we have to go are we yes. okay so um, we're, Karen Finley was not able to be here. Where is that? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I just wanted to honor uh, women performance artists, um, Anna Mendieta, who um, uh, was born in Cuba, came to America, and then did incredible uh, performances about uh, returning to the earth and, and many, many uh, Earth, Gina Payne, Hannah Wilkie, face lymphoma, breast cancer, and death via, and, and photographed her, her illness in, uh, via performative photography. The, the world is Sherry Rose, uh, worked with Bob Flanagan, who had cystic fibrosis as art. They worked as art with these issues. Carolee Schneeman, Eleanor Anton, Marina Abramovich, many, many, many self, <coughs> self healings via very strange actions. <laughs> and we all do strange actions as, as life. And it just framed because of that particular 
brain uh, anomaly, um, frame it as art. And then there, there are also uh, people who perform and are shamanic, shamanically uh, called to that. Uh, Linda Mack worked with Frank Moore who had cerebral palsy. I'm, I'm picking out those issues where you take, you take the illness, which is life itself, and then frame it into art. How do, how do, how do I fix this creatively? How do I do uh, Rocio Bolivar, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And Karen Finley was make good. Uh, Jen is going to talk about Karen Finley was to be here. And she will, uh, Jen's going to talk about it. Hi. So um, I want to say first, huge thank you to Linda, just across the board. She's been like, I have a heart attack. Um, so she said to me, oh, you should bring Karen Finley here. I'm like, oh yeah, right, uh-huh, sure. <laughs> I don't know Karen Finley. She says, oh no, you'll find her. I'm like, okay, great. So. I looked and I looked and I figured, uh, Instagram, Facebook. So I DM'd her and I said, hi, I'm a friend of Linda Montana. She wrote me back, we had a whole long story, la da 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 da. She's coming here, yay. She was gonna come tonight, but um, she has a family matter, so she couldn't come this evening. But she will be here March 17th is the plan. And she's gonna be here March 17th and we're um, partnering with Upstate Films so thank you, Upstate Films, and we'll bring Karen here. This is a gift for you. Thank you. Thank you, Lonnie Moringa's mother. Um, what, how, what are we doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Um, <laughs> we're, um, I just want to just again repeat that we are on the timeline. There's another film coming in, so um, how, many, we're, how much time do we have? We just a few more. Okay. Oh, oh, so sorry. we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna wrap, we're gonna wrap it up. Um, so um, we were it, gonna do an homage to Pauline Oliveros. Still are. Oh, yeah, okay. Come on. Uh, um, so. Yeah, we're, um, uh, Julie's going to come up and, and do a Pauline Olivera song for us. Um, Suzanne's going to come up and do some thank yous. Jen's going to teach us all how to do the chicken dance. Yeah, I'm going to go back and get my hat. Excellent. Just so I'm... And then uh, I encourage you all to, to uh, there's going to be a little procession going over to the gallery. Uh, to, so come on by, um, do your best chicken, uh, follow the crowd, and um, come on by and, and uh, meet and greet with, um, with Toby. With uh, Tishang and um, and Linda. Thank you. Uh, we will have some of Linda's books for sale, by the way, and they will be on sale at Lamb Center and Emerge. So not tonight, but but through the weekend. Uh, and they're they're very special. I mean, this is, they're out of print, most of them. Uh, so. Uh, so I urge you to take a look at those two. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you to Orpheum for your wonderful attendance to us tonight. And see you, see you later, I hope. Okay, I don't need a bike. All right, everybody, just shake your hands for a second. Just All right, so the plan is, so we're going to do a little chicken dance. It's super easy. It's not the fancy one. 
from the wedding. You don't need to know that. So we're gonna we're gonna try it once here. We'll try it three times here. Three times. Then we're gonna go procession out. I have these lovely flowers, and you can follow me. And we're gonna go out the door. We're gonna get congregate outside. We're gonna do the chicken dance a couple times, make a lot of noise, and really weird out the village because that's really fun. And then we're gonna cross the street, which is gonna be challenging, but we'll figure it out. And then we're gonna do it in front of a merge again. Chicken, 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 chicken. And then there is a fabulous. Um, Reception, you can meet, greet, wine, cheese, give Linda a big old wonderful hug, chicken, chicken <laughs> hug. All right, ready? Chicken. One, two, shake. Cook and make lots of noise! And hug. That's it. We're easy. Ready? One, two, wiggle, 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 wiggle.
<laughs> See, we, we got you involved after all. <laughs> conceptual artist. What's the difference between conceptual art and performance art? I got some We have to ask the performance artist that. Next question. There's an overlap. Next question. They both vote. But you sang so well. I have a question. Uh, where, where did the impetus to do duration art come from? Where did you get the inspiration? You ask me? I am asking. Oh, I saw you ask an inspiration artist. Oh, I see. Well, <coughs> well, this experience is, you know, it is from from life. So I think, yeah, I want to do, you know, the concept is a, uh, how long, right? <coughs> then I think one year is, it's a, you know, the earth <coughs> around the sun circle. That's why I pick up one year, and that's the human calculus life, basic unit. I use one year. In for a long the duration is not that I come from. It's more because I want to do is one year. And then the critical say this is a long duration or something. Yeah. That's why it's not like I right. other people say it's more. Yeah, it's right. not like the duration. Because duration you can be six minutes duration. Yeah. Or you can be one more duration that but I won't pick up Very yeah. good point. that life, you know. Right, life is art. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Life. But then I use it's art and life but I more like uh, my art I, you know, I, I more like my art have a life quality. Mm -hmm. But I do this art time, a year, I call it art time. And between each piece, the the gap, like between first piece, second piece, you know, if uh, like 180 some day, that's called light time. Or the time called piece, with the outdoor piece, that's kind of between, that's called light time. Mm. So to me, you know, it's a, uh, my whole work, with life, our time, lifetime, but that to me is uh, not make it so different. Mm -hmm. It's just like, uh, you know, for people, if we call uh, like Abby, we call the art. So people want to communicate with you, 
about how you make a you know different mm -hmm. time lifetime because people want to talk about your art and then I have to make clearly you know which day to which day last <coughs> time mm -hmm. special time is a piece of time yeah. and these I have life quality yeah so, so that is art time sacred space I'm, I'm sorry. So then, is art time sacred space? Um, oh no, no. I, I, I'm a person. Is uh, not like a speech heightened for the. You know, I mean, it, it's just uh, no day. different than anybody Every day. because Every day. it's a. Uh, you, you know, like I do. I I use my body to do it. Peace, but my mind is uh, doesn't matter. It's peace, at time or life time. But I have the conscious to know I'm doing the peace time. Only that do. Another way, I'm not different than anybody. You know. So I, I don't try to put that as very, you know, special. I'm, I'm more like a universal way. To it's the everyday. Everyday. Elevated. Okay. I'm not elevated for, for the art, uh, you know. Not elevated. Yeah, not elevated. No. I don't use this word, so I ask it. She help me translate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, you know, because, you see, I, I always use the Panama Canal. You know, the Panama Canal, the ship, right? In a low level to to go to to want to be jump on a level, you have to be same water level. So it doesn't matter each way. So if life time or life, I want to go into up, should to be same level. So to me, yeah, if I can get into extreme in the peace, my foundation in my life already already have that level. So I get in and. I don't make it so difficult. I, I already, I can handle it, you know, in the same level. So that's why I, I balance, you know. But, but, but of course, uh, you do work, you want to make people understand your work. I, I'm not trying to emphasize extreme, in, but because I need it one year, so that becomes, you know, like I said, compare, like I said, my work. You compare the endurance kind of up, you know, like it's one nail, right? You, your body touch that, you stay so extreme, in, you know, that kind you cannot handle so long. But if I use the nail bed, the old nail and become one surface, and then you can stay that long. That's the way I feel life is more like a nail bed. And you stay, life is not easy, difficult, eh? but you can stay and then. Then conscious thinking about, you know, what life means to you, you know. So, so to me, my work is not invisible. It's more invisible. You cannot see because you cannot see what I'm thinking. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I would like people to use their own own experience with life to understanding my work. I, I'm not trying to say you have to be all my answer to. You can use your own life experience, and you have a different point of view. I respect, but it's not like your point of view must be force me. Same, yeah. we can be all different. Uh -huh. Like say, I was Linda. We both very different thinking, but at least we don't cut off. You know, she singing her way, I singing my way. You know what I mean? And we are. You know, <laughs> that's the way we, we stay. <laughs> Eight feet. Yeah. But do you guys talk and discuss during a year when you were tied together? No. We just lived. We no conversation. No, we, no. he had a job, I had a job. No, we, we had to talk. Did I say you, I want to go best room? Yeah, I had but to so in, the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, we talked. At the end, we used gesture. Yeah. We we just uh, <laughs> <laughs> But I still we, we still need to talk, talk because uh because human being language is 
yeah. to make it easier for you to yeah, but quickly. at the end we we knew each other so we we did more like yeah the, yeah the rock sometimes we become different languages you know like that yeah because that's uh that's my question because of it takes me 40 years to understand all of, sudden, all of a sudden when i saw you guys together i didn't realize uh, that his english was poor and you didn't speak chinese well i i i i i i came i don't speak <laughs> you don't speak no i mean i, I i'm not a conversationalist so yes that didn't worry you know that didn't bother us that you guys stay together did not cut. No, we didn't cut. And because of what? I was learning and I was meditating, you know, and I was I was entranced by by this life, you know. Plus, he's a really good cook. I'm good cook, but it compared to Linda. She cook, I cannot eat that. <laughs> Difference. Say, I made this popcorn. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I made the you shit. Shut my mouth. No, I made the dip. <laughs> <laughs> but I told you, the peace, I know, when we I don't. I made that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, sometimes, you know, if we have a struggle, a uh, fight, and then, because we don't use language, like Sadin, I want to go that way. If I lay down, then I already know. I had to hold a rope, like you say. Say I had to be hold her here. Because she don't ask me, say, well, go there. She was poor to go. <laughs> but I don't want to be, to be, she mm. will move, you know, she move, right? So I, my hand quickly again message, she move, so I hold it. <laughs> if I don't, that, then I become whole body go. <laughs> you know, that's why I don't, I don't want to be that. Who's stronger? So how, <laughs> no. <laughs> Every day we do the photos. Did you can see the whole thing documented in GIA. What do you of course? No, why and not? Ask, why ask this question? Because it's the piece we have to be commitment money. Why? Why don't want to cut off? Why? Because, because uh, and we commitment. We say we want to do, you know, that, that. I know, until, it's the commitment. But why, <laughs> you ask, if I do one piece yeah, and then you say, why me. not finish? Yeah, because why, why, why broken the cage because, to go out? Because people these days got divorced <laughs> when they have a commitment. And that's how I look at this. Shay, no. 40 years. Okay, go questions for Toby Carey yeah. about his work. Samaya, so oh. please. Oh, you guys are beautiful. I love it. This is more fun. Yes. <laughs> Any questions for Toby? Mm. I have a question for you. Okay. I'm, I'm curious if you were to do the rope thing. I have a question for Toby. Toby, is it complicated to take that, like, I, I, I guess that was probably Linda's childhood picture yeah and then is it is it really complicated to make those changes to the mouth and everything well it's software thank you thank you uh, software this is before ai but it's hand done because there are different uh, vertices that you have to deal with and uh, you have options uh, it didn't have to be the mouth with those kind of teeth or the mouth with the braces i imagine you and linda talked about like uh like that well i would try some things and Linda would respond I don't like that or oh yeah let's go there let's you know, let's uh, yeah. double that down or whatever we have a very symbiotic kind of relationship that way so cool. I would I would send her things so to speak and she would come back with her own list and we try things and not everything worked and we try different flavors of those things so so complicated in that it sometimes takes time. Yeah. Tell, tell them about the um, Linda and Toby Talk About series. Yeah. Yeah, well, we did three uh, pieces together. Uh, Linda and Toby make a tape. And it shows you where we come from that we're talking about a tape, you know, make a tape. And uh, then Linda and Toby make a tape about death. Linda and Toby make a tape about politics. And Linda and Toby make. I don't know, you have to look at that list I passed around. <laughs> but uh, it's expensive. So, so that was, but those started again as still pictures that were then animated. And uh, the program allows us to take our voices 
and the animation kind of follows the voice. Mm. Sometimes, you know, so that's an option. Yeah. Toby, are the films available to see? All of our films, they're all, on, they're all on YouTube, on Linda's Great. YouTube channel. I have my own channel, which is different things, uh, and on uh, YouTube and as well as on Vimeo. And if you want to stream our documentaries, they're all on Vimeo On Demand. So. To Toby is, uh, what would you say, like, so exacting and so cautiously uh, committed to truth. And uh, his, his documentaries are incredible. They're, they're extensive, and, and he works with Meg. And uh, about the Shokan Reservoir, he did a whole history of how that came to be. Uh, his, uh, the house that he was living in was a poet's house, Stanley Kunitz. Stanley Kunitz, yeah. Kunitz. Uh, then, and then he, and then he would do something not poli politically. I mean, not like a, a video on violets. What else? Uh, Catskill Mountain has a lot of Catskill. regional things. Yeah, and regional. Then, and then I was, uh, I made a, a commitment when, when Trump was elected, that I could do what I could do, and I'm a media person, so I, I wanted to follow all the rallies and marches and political activities that were public, that were going on. So for the next three years, I did 145 what I call mini-docs, going to all these rallies, putting them together with the music, and Julia was there playing lots of music, lots of times, and with a group called the uh, Tin Horn Uprising, and those of you who were around here know about the Tin Horn uh, group that was, uh, that was uh, active back in the day. So this, um, I was committed to do that, and I was able to do it, and those are all on YouTube as well. And then I did a mashup of those, because they were like, a, I don't know, 36 hours of video, so I pushed it down, sped it up a thousand times, so you can watch it all very fast if you, if you don't have the endurance to watch each one. Well, that's endurance. So, I mean, you see, I see my own evolution from Catholicism to and the shoe store and that, that service element and then the, the, the sacred and the service and then living four, literally four years silent in, in the Zen Center and the, the convent, we, we didn't talk at all, which was, which is fine for me. Um, and then coming out and being with Shay, uh, I, I had retired. I had retired when I went to the Zen Center. I was never going to do it again. No more. And then I saw his picture. I thought, oh, I'm out of here, you know. <laughs> I'm out of the Zen Center. And, uh, and my, 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 my desire is to, to find my heart. To find, you know, find my heart. And, and all the things in that video are in the subconscious and how to work with those. So I went from Shay to uh, working with Toby, who is Jack Cornfield. Any of you in the spiritual world know Jack Cornfield, who's the spiritual master. And so being with Meg and, and Toby is part, it was like being in church and the Zen Center, and, you know, just from kind to kind, you know? So that's how I see it. And then with my family, who really know the truth, and Shay really knows the truth, too. And, we're Megan, Car uh, Toby don't know what living with Linda is like, but um, she does. My family does. So how to how to? And it comes from Catholicism. It comes from my brain. You know, the wired a wired brain for this. So I'm really grateful to to these masters and, and Pauline. There's Pauline, mm. another teacher, another. Uh, a real teacher, a spiritual teacher. Ah! <laughs> so, I made a dip in my grandmother's bowl. Oh, what do you say? If I had the, the uh, what if, it, if I had the wings of an angel, this is her bowl. She has a question. Pardon? I said she has a question. Linda. Linda. She has a question. 
Hi. I was very moved by the comment you made about your father. I believe you said your father kneeling in the shoe store. It was very, very moving. And <coughs> do you remember that as a child? Can you say mm -hmm. can you tell more about that? Yeah, my father was a mystic, really. Mm -hmm. He was a uh, he was a first generation Italian. So I'm really, really conscious of first generations. And you, you know my story, you know my story. Uh, I'm really conscious of um, what they had to suppress, to even live in sword boots, you know, what they had to suppress. And he had no money to be a healer, like he wanted to be a dentist. Is that a healer? I don't know. But, um, but he had, like, like Alan there, you know, he had, he had the gen, it's the genuflection. How can I make your feet feel better? Isn't that a healer? Mm -hmm. And how can I make you feel? And it was always that, you know, it was always, and that's what I saw. I, I come from church to my dad, you know, and then my mom, who was pretty, she was pretty wild because of that wild grandmother. Um, but she was, she, my mother was an art therapist. She took all of her trauma, drama, story, narrative, we all have, you know, and she, she made thousands of paintings. And she sang at the piano and, and, and read to us. So I, I you know, I, I just think our parents are just these incredible, how to be grateful to these people who fed us and changed us. And my dad put me through thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of school and shipped 15 sculptures from Italy. Who does that? Who, who does what parents do? You know, not being a parent, I just, it, it just, you know, who does what our mothers and fathers do for us and our friends and our, our teachers? It's just phenomenal. And then we have a chance, in this hot, incredible time, that we have a chance to just, you know, the heart. How do we do this heart? Because how do we do it? And we thank our Father, we thank our... <sighs> and, yeah. See, the, the, the car just said, stop. <laughs> <laughs> So, so thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.